Now, obviously, migrations are not just for creating tables. We need to create them for every change we make to our database schema. And this just ensures that everyone is on top of all changes made. So you'll end up with a large list of migrations, but obviously it's worth it. So let's go ahead and add a couple more fields to our articles table. I'm going to run the PHP artisan migrate make command again. Well, the migrate command through artisan. But this time I'm going to call this update articles table. So that's created that migration. Let's go ahead and edit this. So now inside of up, we're not creating this uh, schema. What we're doing is we're adding to it. So we say schema table. We choose the table that we want to select. Remember, this is different for, from schema create that we used here. So we do the same thing. We pass the call back in and choose T here as the argument. We can now go ahead and just add columns. So I'm going to add an integer column called user. This is presumably the user that's posted the article. And another integer here called rating. Now in down, we don't want to remove the table. Instead, what we want to do is the exact opposite of what we've done up here. So we still use schema table and choose the table that we're modifying. But this time within the callback, again, passing in T, we say T drop column, and then we choose a comma separated list of columns that we want to drop. In this case, it's user rating. So let's run this migration. And we can go over to here to describe the articles table. And you can see that user and rating have been added with an int type. Let's roll this back as well, just to make sure that this works OK. And that looks like it's been rolled back. So we can check this by describing articles. And that's done so as well. And that's it. We've updated a table using a migration.